Hello and welcome to this video on using a private OCI Helm chart repository with Argo CD. This is part of a series of short videos around common Argo CD questions and hurdles by Acuity, the enterprise Argo company created by the founders of the Argo project. I'm going to start off by jumping right into the setup and explaining what we're working with today. I've got a GitHub repository with a charts folder with a guestbook chart on, underneath it and a GitHub Actions workflow that will publish the Helm chart using OCI to the GitHub container registry. And so let's jump over to Argo CD here. Now for an application to use this private OCI Helm chart repository, we need to create repository credentials that Argo CD can use to authenticate to it. Now there are three options for doing this. The first is through the UI by going to settings, repository, connect repo, choosing the connection method HTTPS and the type of Helm. And then you have to specify the project that you wanna put it in, the repository URL, the username and password so that it can authenticate. In this case, it would be a GitHub username and a personal access token for that user with read access to the packages of the user. And then finally, you have to click the enable OCI button so that it knows that this is an OCI Helm chart repository. The next way that you can set up the repository credentials is by using the Argo CD CLI, where you can specify to add a repository with this URL, give it an arbitrary name of private Helm OCI, set the type to Helm, explicitly enable OCI support for the Helm tight repository, and then set the username and the password to use to authenticate to the private repository. And the last way is declaratively using a Kubernetes secret manifest, which contains the label secret type repository. That way, when you create the secret in Kubernetes in the Argo CD namespace where uh, Argo CD is running, it will pick up this secret manifest and use it as uh, repository credentials. And so same with the CLI, we have to specify the URL, an arbitrary name, the type Helm, explicitly enable OCI support, and then set the username and the password to authenticate with. Now, for sake of demonstration, we'll apply the repo credentials manifest to the cluster. That'll create a secret, which if we go back to Argo CD here, will then show up in the repositories list as private Helm OCI, the name we gave it, with the repository URL that we specified, and we can see that it has successfully connected to the Helm OCI repository using those credentials from the secret manifest that we added to the cluster. Now to demonstrate that it works, We'll deploy this application manifest that has the same repo URL as the URL that we specified in the repo credentials. Then we set the same target revision. We choose a chart from that container registry URL, which in this case is guestbook. And then we're going to deploy it uh, to the cluster in the guestbook namespace. So we'll apply that to the cluster. And if we go back to Argo CD here, it'll already have picked it up and we can see that it was able to successfully pull the chart, template the manifest from that chart and deploy the resources into the cluster. And we can see that it's using that same repo URL that we specified before. And then once the container is done creating, the application will show synced and healthy. Thank you for watching this video. Please check out the Acuity YouTube channel for more Argo project related content and check the description below for links to our free online course for an introduction to continuous delivery and GitOps practices using Argo CD.